This video is going to be an introduction to series, and in particular, arithmetic series. So I've got an example here of an arithmetic series. So a series is just a sequence of numbers that we're adding together the terms. So each number here is called a term, and it's just like a sequence, but we're replacing the commas by pluses. So we're adding together these numbers. And it's arithmetic because we are at, uh, the difference between the terms is constant. So we're adding three between to get to the next term. So we've got four, add three to that, we get seven, add three to that, we get 10, and so on. So if we were just to ignore the pluses and just have the commas, then this would be an arithmetic sequence. So that's how we get to an arithmetic series. We just replace the commas by pluses. And there are two types of series. We can have finite series or infinite series. And the finite series is when we have a last term. So we have a finite number of nums, uh, numbers that we're adding together. But an infinite number of series, we are just adding an infinite number of numbers together. And it just keeps going on forever. So now we can actually begin to ask what is going to be the value of this uh, object here. So we're adding together numbers. What is going to be the total sum of the series? And if it's finite, we can work this out quite nicely. But if it's infinite, then it might be a bit harder. We might not even be able to find it. So let's just look at the corresponding sequence first. So we can just write 4, 7, 10, 13, etc. These are the terms. And now we can begin to ask all the same questions that we asked before for sequences as we did for series. So for example, we can ask what is the 20th term? So let's find the 20th term of this series, which is going to be the same uh, this, same 20th term of the sequence, right? So they're pretty much the same when it comes to the terms. And we have these, uh, this general formula for uh, the nth term of an arithmetic series. And this is given by un is equal to a plus n minus 1d. So to find the uh, 20th term, we're just going to plug in n is equal to 20 into this formula. So we're going to get u20, the 20th term, is equal to a. Now a is the first term. And in this case, we have 4. And then n minus 1, which is 20 minus 1. And then this is times by d. And this is the difference between successive terms. And you can see here that we're just adding 3 to get to the next term. So that's the difference. That's the pattern in the sequence. So this, the value d here is 3. And then we just simplify to get the answer. So 4 plus 19 times 3. Same as 4 plus 30, 27, so 57, and this is equal to 61. So if you were to carry on the sequence and look at the 20th term, we would find the number 61. And it's the same for this series. So now I'm just going to write out what a general arithmetic series would look like. And it's very similar to a sequence, arithmetic sequence. We just have a as the first term, and not commas. We need pluses here. So a plus a plus d. This is the second term, and I'm using brackets to separate them. And then for the uh, third term, we have a plus 2d, and carry on like this. So this is the first term, so I'll write u1 above it, u2 above the second term. This is the third term. So it's exactly like an arithmetic se uh, sequence. We're just replacing the commas by pluses. So I can just write below here what the corresponding sequence would be. So it would be a, a plus d a plus 2d, etc. So this is exactly how to spot if the series you're given is arithmetic. You just look at the corresponding sequence, so you ignore the pluses, and you just t uh, try and find out if that is an arithmetic sequence. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at ways to find the value of the total sum. So we're going to be deriving formulas to find the sum of a finite series.